All right, I know, I know, you guys have been begging for a best childhood friend sauces video, and rest assured, I'm going to do it. In fact, I'm already in the middle of making it, so I want you guys to be patient and wait for your presents like good boys, okay? In the meantime though, in 267975, we see something real sexy and juicy and full of flavor. I'm talking about them soba noodles. Gah! With the tempura and the soft boiled egg too? Sure! So the ones responsible for creating these beauties is the downtown soba restaurant Kakuan, which consists of Haru-chan and her childhood friend slash restaurant owner Shochan. We then see a panel of time lapse between our two lovebirds, seeing how they have both developed from innocent children all the way to their adulthood. And Haru-chan is slowly realizing that her cute childhood boy has turned into a man. Then Shochan asks, Hey, have you been getting any dick lately? And she was like, Nah, I haven't had any dick. And he was like, oh damn. So then she asked, how about you? Any bitches lately? And he was like, nah, I haven't had any bitches. And she was like, for real? But then she went, wait, choto mate kudasai? Why in the world am I happy at the fact that he gets no bitches? And after three more monologues, she's come to the realization that she likes him and thought, hey, I can be his bitches. Anyways, Shochan's friends turned up and was like, we've been hearing that you get no bitches. And while Haru-chan was listening in on their conversation, they invited him to a brothel. And Shochan reluctantly said, fine, I'll think about it. And these words shattered Haru-chan. Hold on guys, let me just do a quick search. Yeah, I don't think that's a very smart decision. However, after our heroine starts considering on what she needs to do, she grabs him by the arm oh. and tells him to not go to the brothel Let's as she go. pulls him in for a tender smooch. She then says, why go to the brothel when I'm here for you, baby? And after cringing at her own lines, they start getting into business. Let's get down to business. Horniness. But after one round, it seems that our boy Sochan still has enough horny to spare. But don't you guys underestimate a woman in love because she said, challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Haru, calm down. You're still a virgin. That's a little too much. Whoa, yo, girl, take it slow. Oh, that looks like it hurts. But despite Sochan's concerns over her, she still forces herself to make it seem like it's all fine. She made it very clear to him that she won't stop until all the horny is gone. This way, he won't even think about going to the brothel. But little did she know, Shochan never intended to go in the first place. Instead, this whole time, he was brooding over the fact that he was trying to ask her out on a date. To which left her blushing from head to toe for getting the wrong idea. But it didn't matter, because either way, he's glad that in the end, they ended up like this. And Haru-chan not being able to take it anymore, opens her mouth and confesses to the boy she's fallen in love with, closing in on another embrace as they both drown in love. Okay guys, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna need a minute. <sighs> oh my god! I don't think I need to tell you guys what happens next. And after all that is done, an elderly customer thanks them for their food and told Shochan how lucky he is for having a wife like her. To which Haru denied and said, We're not married yet. And Shochan, being the sly boy he is, notices that she said, Yet. Thus leaving our two main characters to have a happy ending. This is one of my all time favorites for two reasons childhood friends and old Nesan. I just love how she's clingy and protective of her man crush because I find it cute that she doesn't want it to get taken away by some other woman while she's in love with him. And honestly, if you ask me, that is true queen shit. So I am going to give this cute little doujin a 10 out of 10. If you want to watch the uncensored version of this, you can check my Patreon. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say. This has been your boy Henty, PhD graduate, and I'm out.